But then the update was like two things or three things. Uh, Apple announced their new Series 5 Apple Watch. I have the original Apple Watch. This is the 2014 model. Like, they literally didn't sell the next watch that came out. They had the Series 1, which was like almost this one. This is like the first one. No waterproofing. Basically garbage. I just spat all over myself. Doesn't work super well, but I love it. And I wear it every day. They announced the uh, Series 5 and I was like, ah! Yeah, I got Series 5, but then the update was like two things or three things. I said two things, two things or three things, and I just didn't really care that much. It listens to like, if things are too loud, it has a compass. That's it? Really? The Series 4, the day of, of the announcement, was still full price, like $529 for the uh, sport version with GPS and cellular. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can like justify that cost because you know, the new one is that price. Shits and giggles, I'll check Amazon. So I checked Amazon. I have uh, three different ones in my uh, tech and tech accessories wish list, and uh, they're both different variants. Two of them have the sport loop and one of them has the sport band, the classic boring sport band. The one I want is a hundred dollars off on Amazon right now compared to the retail price. A hundred bucks off? is not bad. It's still gonna be a lot of money to buy, but a hundred bucks off isn't bad. Here's why I don't wanna wait to Black Friday. Black Friday, right, is good and all that, and it could be a great deal for the Series 4, but Apple doesn't offer the Series 4 anymore. So that means they're not making the Series 4 anymore. Retailers could theoretically not have stock of it in two months because people are gonna jump on the deals they're having because the Apple Watch is the most popular watch in the world. Definitely the most popular smartwatch. I think it's even the most popular watch, which is absurd. That's how I'm justifying purchasing this because I was gonna upgrade to the Series 5 anyway, but the Series 4 is gonna be cheaper so I can get delivered by Saturday with my free Prime delivery. I'll have a new watch in two days for a, a, about 450 bucks, which is $100 cheaper than it would be to buy the new one. Because it's Apple, that price won't change that much so I think I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it my camera died literally as I pressed confirm but it's ordered I'm looking at it right now arriving Saturday by 8 p.m. it's about a fourth of a new computer oh when you put it that way it's not great it's the price of two of my graphics cards that's the price of a new graphics card oh but it's a watch that I wear every day you know there's one thing I can say about this watch besides when it broke and they had to send me a replacement Which this technically isn't the watch I bought technically because they sent me a new one. I wore it every day I wore it every day. I have, pl I have plenty of watch bands for it. I've, I've gotten my use out of it I use it all the time. I use it to look at the look at the time. I use it to look at the, my stands I do my heart rate on it sometimes. I, I use it to breathe if I'm having a rough day. When I was in school I use it for the weather all the time. I actually use it for the weather a lot. See what temperature it is outside. I think it's a good purchase. We'll see on we'll see on how I feel about it on Saturday when it gets here. This is the uh, Series Four, space gray aluminum, with the black sport loop, the 44 millimeter. This is the uh, cellular and GPS model. I'm a little excited. Let's jump into it. So uh, the model I'm currently wearing on my wrist is the original. Apple Watch. Before Series 1 and Series 2, before there was even a series, the first Apple Watch. We have these little like tab things on the bottom, which kind of fold out. You know, I'm sure you actually probably know how this works. The Apple Watch is literally the most popular watch in the entire world. Let's see, inside we've got some little Apple Watch art, or Apple Watch band, and our actual Apple Watch. So I'm gonna take the band out first. This is the black sport loop. So I have the original sport band the black sport band for my uh, watch. So this is uh, completely different than what I've ever had. It's a little blocky thing from me just ripping it out. This is only my second official Apple band. So basically it works like Velcro. And it just attaches and then rips off. So that's gonna be a little interesting, but it should be very adjustable and it's very Squishy. I'm excited for this Apple Watch, mostly because it's such a big upgrade from the original one. So we have, woo! So here we have our Apple Watch and our Design by Apple in California. And inside here is instructions and warranty info. 
boring. Behind that is the usual suspects of your charger, your charging brick, and like I said, your watch right there. So the only thing left now is to unsheath my new Apple Watch, the equivalent of the 40 millimeter from yesteryear, or 42 millimeter, right? I don't know. Here we go. Just gonna push it out of its little sleeve. The air conditioning just turned on. So there's the new, well new, my new Apple Watch with the crazy back. That looks super cool actually. So this is a lot more um, rounded than the old one. We're gonna take the old one off now. Old one, new one. You can see it's a bit more rounded. It's definitely a bit different. The new one is technically thicker. It actually might be thinner. It's hard to tell, but it's basically the same layout. Double speakers um, and a microphone instead of it all being on one side. It's waterproof. The back is very different because there's so much more technology in the back now. It can do a full uh, EKG, ECG, one of the two. Electronic cardiogram, ECG. It's very shiny and it's polycarbonate back, if I remember correctly. I'm not certain, but it's way more shiny and honestly cooler. All right, so now I'm gonna attach the band. So you take your, your long end that's not doubled up, slider in, easy enough, locks right in. Then, other side that is doubled up, slide it into the bottom of your watch, and bam. It's pretty rounded, I'm not used to that look. Easy to adjust, I feel like that may lose its, I wanna say stickiness, cause it's not sticky. It may lose its grip over time, but that is yet to be seen. But I probably won't use this band very much anyway, because I have, you know, I have different bands, you know, and they all fit this watch. Anyway, um, I've only seen these in person like twice at a Best Buy, and I'm used to this screen, which the problem, well, I, sh I shouldn't say problem. The thing about this screen is that the bezels are ginormous. And this basically is the same size watch in general. They just made the screen a lot bigger. Hey, I know my hair has changed and it's a bit later, but I've been using this Apple Watch for quite a while now, actually uh, a couple weeks, and I love it. That's my first impressions. I love it. Um, it makes me excited to wear my watch again because my old one was so bad that I just couldn't do much on it. Sending texts was super unreliable. Answering phone calls was super unreliable. There was no reason to do it when I couldn't be detached from my phone. Not needing my phone and just taking this out is super nice. I absolutely will recommend it. If you're someone who has an Apple Watch, an older one, and wanted to get the five, but you can't justify the cost, I think this is a great upgrade. It's definitely worth it. There's only really two things that are new with the Apple Watch Series 5. The always-on display, which I have heard is actually tanking battery life, and the compass. This has that sound monitoring thing. It does. The new watch advertise it as a brand new feature. That's just a watch OS 6 feature, which came out not long after getting this. So it actually um, upgraded my watch a bit and gave it some new polish to make it feel even better. So I really can't recommend the Series 4 enough if you don't want to justify, if you can't justify the cost of the Series 5 because you're really not losing much for that much lower of a price. Um, I've seen the prices down more than $100 now after getting it on other retailers and other websites and even Apple's refurbished website. They're down a bit cheaper than, than this was. So it's definitely worth it and um, that's really it. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it. I have vlogs on this channel. I do reviews. I do unboxings, first impressions, stuff like that. This is a channel about me and my nerdiness. Feel free to subscribe. If you're into gaming, I have a gaming channel. That's linked below as well. I also stream on Twitch. Anyways, that's really it. Like the video if you liked it. Favorite the video if it's your favorite. Don't forget to share the video. Subscribe for more. And of course, I'll see you all later. Take care.